Well, here we are back at Rocket Industries once again. So let's go inside and take a look around. Now, most engines in standard configuration can take a little bit more power with some upgrades. But if you want to get serious with it, you've really got to upgrade your engine internals. And the most common upgrades would have to be conrod and piston configuration. Now, with a conrod, like this one here, it's called what we call a H-beam conrod. It's quite strong. Down the actual beams here, you can see this H-type configuration. You can run either an I-beam, which are fairly light, and they'll support up to around about 450 horsepower in most small block V8 configurations. A H-beam can support anything up to 1,000 horsepower for most applications, depending on the type of rod you use. It's also very important to make sure that you do run a very good conrod bolt in the main caps here. Because at the end of the day, if that stretches at, say, seven or 8,000 RPM, you're going to be in all sorts of trouble, and the engine will be in a lot of pieces all over the road. Now, the other important component that is actually connected to that conrod is the piston. Pistons cop a hell of a lot of load. Imagine all that combustion pressure. You've virtually got an explosion happening on the top of this unit every time that ignition or that spark plug fires. So you've got all that downwards force acting upon this piston here. And the more power you make, the harder it gets. Also, when you're running a lot of compression, say in a race engine or something like that, and say you've got a bit of a bad batch of fuel, there's always potential for detonation. And if detonation occurs, you can actually damage the piston like you wouldn't believe and punch a hole straight through it. A forged piston like this one here is very, very durable. It can actually withstand quite a bit of punishment. And this is why you need to upgrade to a forged piston in a racing or high performance application. Now, I'm sure most of you enthusiasts already know that the conrod and piston assembly connect to the crankshaft. Now, the crankshaft is a very important factor in the high performance application. But if you want to make some serious power and torque, probably one of the most popular ways to go is to increase capacity, make the engine bigger internally. And you do that with one of these, a stroker kit. This kit here actually takes a 302 Windsor up to 347 cubic inches. That's nearly 50 extra cubes. Now, some of you may wonder, how do they increase capacity with a different crankshaft? Well, it's called a stroker for a reason, because they increase the stroke. They increase the amount of travel that the piston moves up and down in the cylinder bore by increasing the distance between the center line of the crankshaft and the actual journal. It's actually increasing the leverage point on the crankshaft also. It's not uncommon these days to see a small block engine actually taken up to beyond 400 plus cubic inches and you wouldn't believe how much difference that makes to engine torque and overall power production.